Well, there's going to be a lot of disappointment. There's going to be a lot of people angry. There's going to be a lot of animosity. But ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Royal Rumble is Roman Reigns. In what should have been a spectacular Royal Rumble pay-per-view, but it wasn't the most spectacular Royal Rumble match. Let's kick it off here. The first match, which wasn't even on the Royal Rumble match itself, wasn't even on the Royal Rumble. It was the kickoff. It was the New Day versus Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. Cesaro and Tyson Kidd picking up the victory. A pretty exciting match in my estimation. Both teams threw it, threw everything at each other. Four out of five stars. The New Age Outlaws versus The Ascension. We knew what was going to happen here. We dictated, we knew that the New Age Outlaws were there to put over The Ascension, but the New Age Outlaws held their own, but in the end, it was too little, too late. The WWE Tag Team Championships was on the line. The Usos versus The Miz and Damian Mizdow. Nothing new, nothing great, nothing of significance here. And then all of a sudden, as I'm watching right now, during a review, we got, we got John Cena and Rusev backstage now going one-on-one. -on -one. Oh boy, this is during my review. We had John Cena and Rusev on the WWE uh, after the Royal Rumble. Uh-oh, Cena and Rusev now going face-to-face, man-to-man. Oh boy, what's going to happen here? But... Nothing new to report. They're the Usos coming away still the Tag Team Champions. We've already been there. We've already seen that. Paige and Natalya versus the Bella Twins. Now, this match was given a sufficient amount of time. This match was given a solid amount of time, but for some reason, the match fell flat to me. The match, I thought, would have been a lot better than what it was going in. But let's get to the main course of this. The WWE World Heavyweight Championship was on the line. John Cena versus Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. This was an epic match from the get-go. Lesnar was Lesnar took three AAs. He took a curb stop, and he was still standing. We thought he was going to have to be helped out by the EMTs, but Lesnar made a dramatic return and returned in major fashion. That Seth Rollins, uh, you know, leap of faith from the top rope to the announcer's position was absolutely spectacular. I got to give that match a solid five out of five stars match. This is the only match that made the Royal Rumble worthy. This is the only match that made the Royal Rumble stand out. And then it was, and I've got to give that, like I said, that match five out of five stars. Brock Lesnar miraculously still the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And then the Royal Rumble. We all thought The Rock was going to enter. We all had that suspicion. There was all that speculation. There was all that buildup. But the Royal Rumble match this year did not live up to the hype. And you know, I'm not a hater of Roman Reigns. I am not even mad that Roman Reigns won the match. But I just fell flat to me. I was surprised to see Daniel Bryan eliminated as quickly as he was. I would have liked to see seen Daniel Bryan, you know, last to the Final Four. But you want to talk about the WWE being unpredictable. You want to throw about, talk about the WWE trying to throw you a curveball. That's what they did here because no one expected Daniel Bryan to be eliminated in the quick amount of that time that he did. And what about the outstanding performance of Bray Wyatt? Now, some superstars did have their, their moments in this Royal Rumble match. Make no mistake about it. But this will not go down as one of the greatest Royal Rumble matches of all time. And instead, this will probably go down as one of the most lackluster Royal Rumble matches of all time. Like I said, I am not mad that Roman Reigns won the event. But it's just the events and the way it went down and the way it led up to it. And then, of course, The Rock came out. The Rock laid the smackdown. He helped out Roman Reigns by taking out the Big Show and Kane. So The Rock came up and he kind of livened up the audience. The, the audience was kind of dead. And, of course, the audience all over Roman Reigns booing Roman Reigns like they did Batista. I don't know what the backlash is going to be. But Royal Rumble, for me, gets a, a 5 out of 10 stars. And that's being really nice. Subscribe.